Meghan Markle is not going to be happy about this one as it is being reported that her ex-husband Trevor Engelson has been offered a lot, a lot of money for his own tell-all memoir. What secrets is he about to spill when it comes to our Megzi? Well, make sure you subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more details in this Daily Nerd starting right now. up everyone it's me steph the alter nerd your nerdy alternative and welcome to another dose of the daily nerd why break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much got me i and oh my goodness it is being reported that yes megzi's ex-husband trevor engelson has been offered major major moolah to publish a bombshell memoir specifically about his time being married to yes our very own megzi and i'm just speculating here but i wouldn't be surprised if he's been offered quite literally millions for this book because apart from prince hazard he's the only person in the world at the moment that could actually write a book telling everyone what it's like to be married to uber narcissist megzi right um and so yeah it is being reported that he has been offered a lucrative deal uh, they were married for three years before they got divorced back in 2014 uh, they began dating 10 years prior in 2004 and got married in jamaica in august 2011 uh, and since since then, yes, Trevor has moved on and married elsewhere and he's got his happily ever after right now. Uh, but despite moving on from the Megzi situation, it's been reported that agents have offered him lucrative contracts to write an absolute tell all on Megzi, uh, his life and relationship with her. Now, royal author Neil Sean told New Magazine uh, that he has been offered big deals and big money for the memoir uh, and a source told Women's Day Magazine that everyone knows there's more to a family story and Trevor's got the goods. So what goods does Trevor have? Well, you know, here are six revelations that we would certainly be expecting Trevor to confirm, deny, elaborate, whatever, when it comes to his tell-all memoir about Megzi. Um, so it could include the rumour that Megzi blindsided him with divorce, reportedly returning her wedding and engagement rings by FedEx while she was filming Suits at the time in Canada. Uh, it added that the end of the marriage itself could be referenced uh, with Megzi said to have cited irreconcilable differences back in 2013 which is pretty much the standard that all celebrities kind of tick that box right uh, they, it's understood that they ended their relationship after she relocated to Canada to film Suits a source said that she was a completely different person when she moved to Toronto for the show uh, they suggested that the split was sudden and so ruthlessly done speculating that Trevor may have felt used by the former actor why would he feel used well the rumor is out there that megzi only got the role in suits because of trevor and his contacts and that furthermore megzi actually pressured trevor into helping her get that role on suits right now uh, it was also teased that he could also discuss their wedding as well so they did marry in jamaica in 2011 and the rumor here is and for the YouTube Humor Review, I've got to be very careful here that guests were given some of the green green as a welcome gift, right? problem is is that the possession of that green green was reportedly illegal in the country at the time of the wedding um though it's believed that possession of small amounts has been reduced to a petty crime offense a source said quote the last thing megzi wants is to be associated with any kind of illegal substance but the thing is yeah too little too late whoever that source is, because uh, she's associated now with Prince Hazza. Uh, <laughs> and he's literally admitted in spare all the illicit substances that he took. Yeah, 
Megs is already associated with illicit substances just on Prince Hazel alone, let alone the rumours that are flying about when it comes to a mum, Doria, right? Now, this is just rumour, something I've heard on the grapevine, guys, but rumour has it that Doria's into some of the illicit substances as well and it had a little, of, a little bit of a... Um, how do I put it? An enterprising venture when it comes to illicit substances. Apparently, rumour, opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever. Some I've heard on the grapevine when it comes to discussion on the internet, right? So, yeah, the source turning around and saying the last thing Megzi wants is to be associated with any kind of illegal substance. Um... Yeah, I think too little too late on that one, in all honesty. But it's also further mentioned uh, that the memoir from Trevor Engelson could also discuss him potentially feeling used, uh, feeling like, quote, a stepping stone. A source said it could throw fuel on the fire, or the pyre on this regard, uh, following Megs's comment in 2017 that she didn't know a lot about Prince Hazard before their relationship. The source said it was a silly thing to claim. So here, this is indicating that even though Megs is turning around and saying, I didn't know much about Prince Hazard before I met him, it sounds like Trevor Engelson in this book, if he does write it, is going to be like, Bish, please, what you're talking shiz for, lass? You knew so much about Hazza. Oh, my goodness. If he's able to confirm that she knew so much about Hazza before they met and that she knew so much about Hazza to the point where he can confirm, like, she, like, had a plan to get him, Oh, I think that's going to rock a lot of people's worlds, guys. I really, really do. Now, uh, Women's Day also said the book could discuss her family history. Uh, something that's really, really murky when it comes to our Megsy. Why? Well, we all know uh, that there was a period of time, a long period of time, where she lived with her father, Thomas Markle, who's now aged 79, rather than a mother, Doria Ragland. Um, and a source said, everyone knows there's more to a family story, and Trevor's got the goods. Now, again, this is extremely rumoured, opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, right? But the word on the grapevine the rumour is, is that Megzi was living with her father full time because Doria wasn't in a position to be able to take care of her daughter because Doria was um, locked away in an institution. Yeah, was uh, potentially a bad, bad woman. Rumour on the grapevine, opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever. That is the talk on the internet. It is absolutely, completely rumoured. Conjecture, whatever you want to call it, right? Nothing has been confirmed. But yeah, if Trevor in his memoir and tell-all book is able to clarify, hang on a minute, where was Doria for all those years where Megzi was living with a father and he's able to confirm it? Oh, that's going to rock some worlds as well, guys. It's also suggested that he could write about her ruthless ambition. Now, that's been wrote about many, many times over, right? Uh, however, to hear it from an ex-husband is going to be something completely different. Um, and the magazine claims that Megzi would not have got a role on Suits without Trevor, uh, who reportedly got her role on his film Remember Me in 2010 prior. Uh, it's said to have been her step in stone role a source said quote he got her that role and they tied the knot two years later not thinking for a moment she'd up sticks to toronto a few months later for suits it's like you know they get married and then a couple of months later she relocates to canada for suits and doesn't come back oh guess what guys I'm telling you something. If this is true and Megsy's husband is on the cusp of writing and publishing a bombshell tell-all memoir when it comes to Megsy, uh, uh-oh, spaghetti-o, 
Megs is not going to like it at all. But you know what? I'm going to be here for it. If it ever gets released, I'm going to get my hands on it straight away. Read it and report it for all you guys. And with that being said, if you appreciated this video and you want more, believe me, of course there's going to be more, then make sure you subscribe to join our alternate tribe. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories and whatever. Also as well, if you've got some very strong opinions about Megzi's ex-husband and this potential upcoming memoir, and I bet you do, then make sure you send me a super thanks. It's just below this video right here. We can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys. Laters!